disguised guns, AKs and Airsoft generally tend to be a less popular model, and unless you're willing to spend a lot of extra money, you're generally stuck with plain wood or plain polymer furniture, no way to mount accessories or optics. G&G has reinvented the tactical AK with an M4 style buffer tube in stock, a bunch of ambidextrous controls, optic rails, and most importantly, a key mod rail on the front. Now to start going back in more detail, starting from the rear of the rifle, G&G has added a M4 style buffer tube with their brand new GOS V2 stock, which is both retractable as well as has a friction lock and a hidden compartment for CR123 batteries for optics and flashlights. A slight difference with the RK74 Tactical, the longer model, is that it features a folding stock. To fold it, you press in here and it flips over and locks in place on the other side of the receiver. One small additional feature that's a big deal to a lot of AK users will be the sling plate adapter added, well, which means that people that are familiar with M4 variants can use their slings, whether they be bungee or two-point slings, on the rear of the rifle. Now to solve two problems that AK users often have, G&G added an optics rail straight on top of the dust cover to avoid the use of a side-mounted optics rail. They also hinge the dust cover, which means that you won't lose it during gameplay. The selector switch to the RK74 series has also been updated, allowing the user to go from safe, auto, and semi with the flick of a finger. And again, small features make the big difference to the RK74 series, as the charging handle sits snugly in the selector switch to let you adjust your hop-up. And coming down to the trigger guard, it's been bowed out for easy use with gloves, and the magazine release has been extended to both sides to make it easy to use and ambidextrous. The front end of the RK74 series is what makes these rifles truly unique in the airsoft world of AKs. The key mod rail in the front of these AKs offers key mod slots in both the 3 and the 9 o'clock positions, while a single 1913 Picatinny style rail sits on the top. Now the only difference between the rails on the three different lengths is that the longer tactical and the mid-length elite are going to have full key mod with a small Picatinny on the bottom of the rail, while the shorter CQB length is going to have only Picatinny. But by far the most unique feature of the RK74 series is that in the longer tactical and mid-length Elite version, both the battery and the MOSFET are going to be stored in the rail. Now that we've taken a look at the external features of the RK74 series, we're going to take a look at how the 6.04mm precision inner barrel and the ETU make this gun perform on the 5x5 target rack. So as you can see, instead of guessing where the target is and trying to pull the trigger before I'm there, with the ETU's trigger response, I can wait until I'm on site, on target, pull the trigger, and hit every time. The RK74's magazine is polymer, and to make sure every round feeds, G&G's added a follower that goes all the way through the magazine and then into the hop-up chamber. Now the last most important feature of the RK74 series has got G&G's brand new ETU or electronic trigger unit system inside, which allows the gun to go from auto to burst right out of the box. Similar to the M4 platform, to switch the rifle into burst mode, you hold down the trigger for 10 seconds in semi, and then when switched to auto, the rifle's in burst. G&G has reinvented the tactical AK in three lengths, the long tactical, the mid-length elite, and the short CQB. So for a modern tactical AK, look to your local G&G authorized reseller later this year. Introducing the Beretta ARX 160, not an M4, but it uses M4 mags. Whether you love or hate the aesthetics of this AEG, you won't be able to deny its performance nor its ergonomics. This is a truly ambidextrous rifle for those of us who know the advantage of being able to manipulate your rifle effectively strong or weak side. Its features are what makes this rifle one of the most universal platforms in the game. The stock is collapsible and foldable, and both the fire control group and the magazine release are completely ambidextrous. This ARX 160 also features the quick change spring option, which means you'll be able to quickly convert your rifle from outdoor legal to indoor friendly FPS limits. Head to Vendor for real estate for all your ninja accessories, ample battery storage in the stock, a quick release barrel for easy cleaning, and the fact that it uses M4 mags and you have a mission adaptable rifle that is battle ready and extremely unique. Visit your authorized Elite Force dealer to see the Beretta ARX 160 for yourself. Don't for 34 from Crosman. It's a spring powered airsoft rifle that shoots 6mm airsoft BBs up to 300 feet per second. The airsoft rifle features an adjustable M4 style telescoping stock. 
a quad rail system for mounting your accessories. The magazine holds up to 18 BBs with a 400 round reservoir. It's also available in a new fully licensed H&K G36 and G36C. The build quality of these next-gen G36s is noticeable from the moment you lay your eyes on them. The high-quality polymer is as close to the real thing as you're going to find. These are not your grandpa's G36s. These electric blowback AEGs come set up with low-res wiring and a built-in MOSFET to better regulate the electricity and current and protect the trigger contacts as well as providing the operator with a much improved trigger response. Add to that the fact that these G36s have a pre-upgraded gearbox, two-round burst mode, and a quick-change spring system, and you've officially run out of reasons not to buy this air. Elite Force is proud to bring you the next generation of M4 CQBs and CQC. These workhorses have been refined over six previous generations, and in their seventh incarnation, the improvements and upgrades put this AEG in a category of its own. The seventh generation improvements include a redesigned crane stock that hugs the buffer tube with minimal wobble. It also offers QD sling points on the right and left side of the stock, as well as push-button battery access, which dramatically shortens the time and effort involved with swapping out batteries. We've also added a vented motor grip, We've beefed up the charging handle and a brand new tablet plate which has been redesigned using an all new polymer that offers the perfect combination of strength and flexibility to ensure years of continued use. Both of these AEGs have a flat top receiver with a monolithic upper rail that is ready for the optic of your choice. The next gen CQB and CQ... The latest in automatic action, the Umarex Steel Strike. The Steel Strike takes its design cues from an M4 based rifle and boasts many of the same features. The Steel Strike features a multi-position adjustable stock. The stock slips off easily for loading two CO2 cartridges in the buffer tube. Downrange of the stock are flip-up sights, but with all of the Picatinny rail on the top, sides, and bottom, there is plenty of real estate to mount optics, lights, or lasers. When it's time to load the Umarex Steel Strike, press the magazine release button and the magazine will drop free. 30 BBs will be ready to fire and you'll need all those BBs for the fast action that the Steel Strike offers. The Lightning Trigger has a flat blade for lightning quick actuation, and the Burst Mode will send six BBs out of the barrel in a flash. Finishing off the bold look of the Steel Strike is the oversized flash hider at the muzzle. The quick handling, easy operating Umarex Steel Strike is ready for you to flip the happy switch.